In this lab, we are going to talk about PVST or pre VLAN spanning tree. This protocol is a Cisco proprietary protocol. It's part of a spanning tree, and you can see that as a spanning tree for each VLAN. Cisco switches default to PVST. A rapid PVST plus is an enhanced version of PVST and allows for faster spanning tree calculations and convergence in uh, response to layer to topology changes. In this step, we are going to configure a primary and secondary root bridge, then we examine the PVST plus convergence, configure the PVS the rapid PVST plus and compare its convergence to PVST plus. You're also going to configure the edge ports to transition immediately to a forwarding state using port fast and prevent the edge ports from forwarding BPDUs using BPDU guard. Now we are going to build the network and configure basic device settings. We do the cabling based on the lab manual, the topology given in your lab manual, and then we configure the PCs. Then we initialize and reload the switches if it's required and we configure the basic settings for each switch, which include disabling the DNS lookup, configure the device name as shown in the topology, and then assign the Cisco as a uh, console and VTY password, and class as a privilege exec mode password. We also shut down all the ports on the switch. We are then going to save the configuration. The basic device setting is only shown on switch 1. There are similar steps that need to be taken for switch 2 and switch 3. After configuring the basic device settings, we start with configuring the VLANs, native VLAN and trunks. There are two VLANs specified here, VLAN 10, which is our user uh, VLAN, and VLAN 99, which is our management VLAN. We need to configure this on all switches, switch 1, 2 and 3. Now we need to enable the user ports in access mode and assign VLANs. We have two user ports, one F06 on switch 1 and the other one is F018 on switch 3. We need to enable the ports by um, issuing the command no shutdown. Then we need to configure them as access uh, ports, so switch port mode access and then assign them to VLAN 10, which is our user VLAN, by issuing the command switch port access VLAN 10. We need to do this process on VLAN, on uh, switch 1 and switch 3, and as I mentioned, on fast Ethernet 06 on switch 1, and fast Ethernet 018 on switch 3.
Now we are configuring the trunk ports and assigning them to native VLAN 99. So for ports 01, F01 and F03 on all switches, we need to enable the ports by issuing the command no shutdown. Then we need to configure them as trunk port. The command is switch port mode trunk and assign them to the native VLAN 99, which is our management VLAN by using the command switch port trunk native VLAN 99. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have to do it for fast attack 01 and 03 on all switches. Now we are going to configure the management interface on all switches by using the addressing table given in the lab manual you configure management interfaces on all switches with an appropriate IP address so first you issue the command interface VLAN 99 on each switches and then with the IP address command you just uh, assign the IP address accordingly By using the command show VLAN brief, we verify the configurations and connectivity on all switches. It verifies that the VLANs are registered in the VLAN table and that the correct ports are assigned. Now to verify the trunk configuration, we use the show interface trunk command on all switches to verify the trunk interfaces. And you can always use the show running config to verify the configuration that you done on each devices. To make sure by looking it through the output, you can see all the configuration that you done in all the steps, previous steps. The last thing to check is to check the connectivity between PCA and PCC. So from PCA, we ping PCC to make sure that the connection is there. This ping should be successful, if it's not troubleshoot. In this part, we are going to find out the default route in the network. Then we assign the primary and secondary route and then we use the debug command to examine the convergence of PVST. We use the show a spanning tree command to find out the current root bridge. You can fill the, fill the answers for the questions in the lab manual using this command. It includes the switch one, uh, sorry, the bridge priority of switch one for VLAN one and switch two for VLAN one. So all those questions can be answered using the show spanning tree. In the lab manual, the switch 3 is the root bridge, but in my configuration, switch 2 is the root bridge. It doesn't matter because we are just doing this for the experiment. We want to make sure that S2 or switch 2 is always the uh, primary root and S1 is the secondary. So we do that by the, using the command spanning tree VLAN and we include all the VLANs including 1, 10 and 99 in our case and root primary for the primary root bridge and if we want to make a switch as a secondary we use the same command but using the secondary at the end instead of primary.
So this is for switch 2 to be the primary root. And then we force S1 to be the secondary root. To answer the questions in uh, in the lab manual about the bridge priority of S1 and S2 for VLAN 1 and also about the interface in the network in, which is in the blocking state, you can use the two commands show a spanning tree and show a spanning tree VLAN 1. You can also use the output of this uh, commands to verify your configuration of primary and secondary root bridge. To examine the PVST plus convergence, you will create a layer to topology change while using the debug command to monitor the spanning tree events. So first you need to activate or turn on the debug command issuing the command debug spanning three events on switch three. Then you need to create a layer to topology change. We do that by disabling the interface fast Ethernet 01 on switch three. So you go to that interface and turn it off or deactivate it. After a while it's about 30 seconds Turn off the debug command by issuing the no debug spanning tree events command. Then based on the output from the debug, you can answer the question in the lab manual. In the last part of this lab, we are going to configure the rapid PVSD plus on all switches, then we configure port fast and BPDU guard on all access ports, and then we use the debug command to examine the rapid PVSD convergence. So we start with configuring the rapid PVSD plus on each switches. So we issue the command spanning tree mode rapid PVSD on the config uh, mode. Then we verify the configurations with the show running config include spanning tree mode. The output should be a spanning tree mode rapid PVSD. Port fast is a feature of a spanning tree that transitions a port immediately to a forwarding state as soon as it is turned on. So it's very useful when you're connecting a new host, uh, it starts communicating on the VLAN instantly rather than waiting for the spanning tree. But you need to prevent the port from forwarding the BPDU, which can change the spanning tree topology. We use the BPDU guard to uh, stop the or prevent the ports from uh, forwarding the BPDUs. So to do that, we just go to the access ports or the ports connected to the suite, to the hosts, and first we enable the port fast, and then we enable the BPDU guard.
These are all the answers to H1 and to H3 because these are the only switches with the hosts. Now we need to examine the rapid PVST plus convergence. We enter the debug spanning tree events uh, in the privilege exec mode on switch 3. Then we need to create a topology change by enabling the interface fast at 01 on switch 3. From the debug output and using the timestamp, you can calculate the time that it took for the network to converge and then compare it to the PVST. Thank you.